starting October 1st, 2025, the $7,500 EV tax credit will be fully and officially removed. Along with it, the $4,000 incentive for used electric vehicles will also disappear. Without these incentives, luxury EV sales may take a hit and automakers could face rising inventory levels. Because of this, consumers are expected to shift their focus toward more affordable and independent options. One exciting option is the much-awaited Tesla Model 2, priced at $17,579. This could be a game-changer. Recently spotted at Tesla's Fremont factory, the compact Model 2 is around 15 centimeters shorter than the Model Y and sports a futuristic look similar to the Cybertruck. The big question is, is it worth the wait? Stay with us on Evolve Drive Hub as we dig deeper. A drone photo from Tesla's Fremont test track shows two crossover-style cars driving together. The layout gives us a glimpse of how far Tesla is moving away from a familiar Model Y design. The unmasked car on top is clearly a Model Y, with its black paint, panoramic glass roof, and design elements carried from its 2020 debut. Underneath, it is a heavily camouflaged prototype that tells a different story. Even under all the coverings and swirls, its shape shows it's shorter than the Model Y. With the known measurements of the Model Y being about 4.75 meters long and a 2.89 meter wheelbase, the new prototype trims about 10 to 15 centimeters off the back end, creating a shorter body closer to 4.6 meters. The wheelbase also shrinks, visible in a reduced gap between the front doors and axle. The result is a cabin that moves slightly forward. These design changes may seem small, but they look dramatic in real life. The smaller Tesla has a tighter, hatchback-like shape that should make it easier to park and turn in busy cities. From the side, differences become clearer. The Model Y has a long rear window that stretches to improve rear seat space and give the illusion of a longer body. The prototype doesn't have that panel. This could mean it's a budget version, like a simpler Cybertruck. The roof line of the prototype curves down earlier, ending in a short tail with little metal past the rear wheels. This design choice improves aerodynamics, which helps with efficiency in a lower-priced EV. The roof provides more hints. While the Model Y has a single glass panel that stretches across the top, the prototype uses a solid metal roof. This type is cheaper and easier to manufacture and also helps with heat insulation. Both the front and back of the prototype are covered, hinting at big design changes. Tesla usually only covers areas undergoing big visual changes, so this might suggest all new headlights and taillights, possibly following the same continuous LED bar look as seen on the Cybertruck and Model 3 Highland update. This model might be Tesla's first vehicle to use a third-generation platform. That means a skateboard-style chassis, large single-piece castings in front and back, simpler wiring and battery packs that are part of the structure itself. These updates are not just about looks. They reduce production time and cost. They also make a sub-$17,000 Tesla possible. The prototype also shows signs of cost-cutting, like smaller wheels, thinner tires, and simple steel springs under the arches. All of this points to a lighter car with a cheaper lithium iron phosphate battery, still giving decent range. Skipping the glass roof and other fancy features shows Tesla's pivot from luxury to practical electric vehicles for everyone. When will we actually see the Model 2? Possibly late 2025 or 2026. Tesla initially said production would start in the first half of 2025, so they may already be in early production stages. But they might be waiting to officially reveal the car until after the EV tax credit ends. This could be a smart move to keep attention on their more expensive vehicles. Launching the cheaper Model 2 soon could cut into the sales of higher-end cars that still qualify for tax credits. So, we may not see an official launch for several more months, maybe closer to the end of this year. As always with Tesla, timing depends on many moving parts. The end of the tax credit may be forcing Tesla to change its strategy, and they seem to be adapting quickly. Once again, Tesla is making moves with purpose. The exact launch date may depend more on policy than production schedules. Production is expected to start in late 2025 in the U.S. at the Texas Gigafactory, with first deliveries coming around April 2026. Europe will follow shortly, 
when manufacturing at the Berlin Giga factory, likely in early 2026. China, Tesla's massive market, may begin local production in late 2025 at the Shanghai plant, with deliveries in 2026. Even India is on Tesla's radar, with early regulatory steps in progress, though it will likely come after the other markets. This rollout plan shows Tesla's focus on meeting local regulations and using efficient production methods in different regions. Tesla seems to be syncing its product plan with the end of tax incentives and changes in what people want. As inflation and high interest rates squeeze budgets, people are looking for more affordable EVs. Tesla knows this, but introducing a cheaper car too early could hurt sales of its premium models. Like always, Tesla is timing things carefully. The Model 2 might only be launched when it gives Tesla the most advantage. How does the Model 2 perform? From what we've seen at Fremont, the car is lighter, shorter, and promises solid performance. With an expected weight under 1,600 kilograms, a single rear motor gives it fast acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. Add a front motor, and it might hit that in under 4.5 seconds. Top speed is capped at 120 miles per hour, more than enough but low enough to protect battery range and tire wear. Its aerodynamic body, flat under tray, and sloping roof chase a drag coefficient of around 0.23. That means the car only uses 11 kilowatts at 70 miles per hour. This efficiency lets a long-range model travel 300 miles on the highway before needing a charge. City drivers could see about 6.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour. The battery uses lithium iron phosphate in 4680 format, offering about 180 WH-kg and staying cobalt free. It runs on 438V, which fits perfectly with the new fourth generation superchargers. These can charge from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. A quick 10 minute stop gives back around 180 miles. At home, the wall connector adds 30 miles per hour, so an overnight charge handles a long daily commute easily. Also, Tesla's Grok voice assistant made by X.AI is being integrated. It could completely change how drivers talk to their cars. Some code leaks show features like a Grok app icon, QR login, voice choices, child mode, and NSFW filters. While it may start as fun, Grok might soon control car settings and navigation. Maybe even talk back to the driver during full self-driving trips, like avoiding tolls when you ask it. This could be the next step in smarter driving. Grok may become an all-in-one assistant that changes how we interact with our vehicles. Tesla's new AI5 computer, set for cars built after December 2025, gives 10 times the performance of the current version. Full self-driving Beta 12 can now run 60 frames per second using just cameras and an added LiDAR sensor on the roof. Each trip sends compressed video to Tesla's Dojo supercomputer overnight, with updated AI sent back by morning. That means the car literally drives smarter every day. The dashboard features a single 12-inch OLED screen running at 120 Hz. It's powered by the same chip used for self-driving, so everything runs smoothly. Voice commands use 5G to reach Tesla's own language model. OTA updates can even change the feel of the throttle. Thermal management uses a heat pump that reuses battery and motor heat, improving winter range. Acoustic glass keeps things quiet on the highway. Structurally, the front and rear mega castings bonded to battery, cut wells by 36% and allow for a flat cargo floor. Though the front shrinks to 60L, the total space reaches over 1. 400L, enough to carry two bicycles. Eight airbags and emergency steering that reacts at speeds up to 140 kilometers per hour ensure top safety. Rear passengers get a theater-style seat setup thanks to the shallow battery, making long trips more comfortable. Tesla has built something that trades top speed for practical speed, the kind of performance that really matters in daily driving. If Tesla sticks to its 2026 timeline, the Model Y may soon feel like the heavier and slower option. Progress is not just in 0 to 60 times, but in how well a car fits into everyday life. So, why is this prototype being called the Tesla Model 2 and not just a cheaper Model Y? Some say it's just a budget Y, but five pieces of evidence say otherwise. First, Tesla told suppliers at the Redwood Project, 
a compact crossover, would start production mid-2025. The test car matches that timeline. Second, the body shows Tesla's new structure design, with seams under the doors that match patent images. No facelift could justify such a major redesign. Third, it uses a new 48V wiring system, which can be retrofitted into the existing Y body. Fourth, the sensors match the upcoming AI5 system, not current hardware. And finally, the car's lower ride height and use of 4,680 structural packs match Tesla's budget goals. Critics point to familiar shapes, but Tesla only uses camo on all new designs. Past facelifts have been tested in the open. What do you think? Is Tesla making a smart move by waiting until after the tax credits are gone to launch the Model 2? Or are they missing a huge chance to take over the affordable EV market? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more amazing updates about Tesla EVs or future tech, like the Tesla bot, hit that like button and share the video. And most importantly, subscribe to Evolve Drive Hub and turn on the bell so you never miss a beat in the EV world. See you in the next one.